Hi, and welcome to Ken Malone's Canal Adventures. I'm sure anybody who watched episode one uh, will agree that the uh, channel title is a little bit of a misnomer at this time, uh, due to the fact that we're not actually on the waterways. This is because I'm showing you the build from, from the start, um, and the purpose of this short video is to give you an update um, which will be the last update for 2020. So I'm going to walk through from bow to stern to show the changes since that first episode. So here is the video. So we start at the bow in what will be our bedroom. In this picture I am stood halfway up our double bed and facing towards the stern showing the wardrobe and the drawers. The wiring on the left is power and internet for the smart TV and on the right under the gunnel is a diesel radiator. Standing in the doorway and facing the bow you can see that the bed raises to give extra storage and access to the water tank. There is wiring for bedside wall lamps and as you can see we're not having bow doors but a large window which will act as an emergency exit if required. Turning round to face the stern gives the first view of the bathroom and directly in front is the wash basin with large storage below. There will also be a mirrored cabinet above and on the right under the gunnel is a heated tower rail. To the left you can see the shower and the toilet. Looking from the door leading to the cabin gives a clearer view of the large shower area and the compost toilet. If you look closely you can also see small holes indicating where adjacent portholes will be. Turning around uh, to again look towards the stern shows the cabin and galley areas. The wiring on the left side is again to power and supply internet to the smart TV and on the right side you can see wiring for two wall lights that will be either side of a large window. We're having a freestanding sofa bed under the window built by the sofa bed barn and a small dinette will be just before the galley. This picture is taken from the dinette area and shows the tiled fireplace with slate hearth. There is a storage cupboard to the left and a larger one above where the um, oak mantelpiece will be. Here's a close up of the fireplace. The stove is a Charmwood C4 DEFRA approved wood burning multi fuel stove with a twin walled insulated flue for extra safety. Turning around to face the stern shows the galley area and two duck hatches. Below the left one is a radiator. On the left hand side will be drawers, freezer, sink with a cupboard under and a tall cupboard. There will be a large window to allow me to take in the sights whilst doing the washing up. In the centre of the picture is a washer dryer. To the right will be a corner storage unit, hob, oven and fridge, as well as Diane's all-important wine cooler. On this side there will be no window, but high-level storage and a microwave. This picture is taken from the stern steps. It just gives you a, a view of the galley uh, from up on high. And the final picture shows the all-important electric cupboard that houses the Victron Quattro 5kVA charger inverter, various fuses and gauges, and once fitted uh, it will have the solar power controls in there as well. The steps in and out also have handy storage. The interior has been painted using Leyland paints 
we have used Snow Queen above the gunnels and Rocky Mountain below. And so that's it, a walkthrough from bow to stern. Uh, as all YouTubers say, please like, subscribe and more importantly add comments. Um, I'd really like to know your opinions and I will endeavour to answer uh, every comment that's made. Um, I know that next week the plan is at the boat builders that the exterior spray painting will take place um, and also the, the main focus is going to be the completion of the galley. Um, so January's episode should look quite different. Um, all that remains for me to say is, you know, have the best Christmas and New Year that you can in the circumstances we have at the moment. Uh, stay safe and we'll see you in 2021. Thanks and goodbye.